To balance this equation, Al2S3 plus H2O, let's count the atoms up on each side. We have two aluminum atoms, three sulfur, two hydrogen, and then just one oxygen. On the product side, we have one aluminum, then we have one sulfur, and for hydrogens, we have three times the one here, plus these two here. So we have a total of five hydrogen atoms, and oxygen, this three applies to everything in the parentheses, so three times the one, that gives us three oxygen atoms. Lots going on here. Let's just start out with the aluminums. We could put a two in front of the aluminum hydroxide, one times two, so that would balance the aluminums. Now we have to update the hydrogens and the oxygens. So let's just delete this out here, and then we have three times one, three oxygens times two, that's six oxygen atoms. Hydrogens, we have three times one times two. That's six plus these two here. Don't forget those. So now we have eight hydrogen atoms. Let's update the sulfurs next. We could put a three in front of the H2S. That way, we'd have to update the hydrogens. Now we have three times one. That's three times two. So we have the six there plus two times three. That's six, so we have 12 of those, and then the sulfur, one times three. Okay, so we've balanced the sulfur. At this point, let's just do the hydrogens. If I put a six in front of the water, two times six, that'll give me 12, so that balances the hydrogen atoms. One times six, that balances the oxygen atoms. So we're actually done. This equation is balanced. The key to this one, be careful when you're adding up your hydrogens and oxygens on this side. Make sure that this number here, the subscript, you multiply it by everything in the parentheses, and then make sure you count all of the hydrogens. Don't forget these out here. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al2S3 plus H2O, aluminum sulfide plus water. Thanks for watching.